Hello beautiful divine Capricorn. I hope you're doing really well. This is Tefnut Light with your July 2015 forecast. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for your patience. We had that very beautiful uh, Capricorn full moon in your sign recently and I moved during that time so we are in the new beautiful romantic castle. I know you're the romantic person. I have a Capricorn moon so I can very much relate to Capricorn energy. So this reading is for all the Capricorn signs, the rising, Capricorn rising, Capricorn moon, and Capricorn sun. So very good energies coming up. I have my new website up now so go check it down below for personalized readings and Reikis. There will be a new moon in um, cancer free event I will be hosting a live hangout do go check out the video it will be up in about 24 hours my like page will have it on there very soon as well so go check out all those beautiful links and thank you for tuning in let's get started and share a beautiful monthly reading I'm going to be using a different deck this is a very beautiful earth inspired Capricorn deck just for you and yes, we are in the cancer vibration of the homey, cozy energies of family, children. It's all about the energy, that birth energy, the fertility, sexuality, beauty, harmony, romance, like more like traditional. And you are the traditional romantic, so I love that about you. So this deck is dedicated to you, beautiful Capricorn. And this is the Druid Craft deck. I'm going to be pulling a card for each sector of the month, as I know you like it very structured. I'm like that too. It has to be aligned and in right alignment to make it perfect. All right, so the beginning of the month, I'll pull a card. The middle of the month, I'll pull a card. And the end of the month, I will pull a card. All happening right now in this divine timing. All right, so let's get started. And yes, I've got a new haircut. It's structured and businesslike like you guys are. Uh, women too. So I mean, general general people, general people, Capricorn people. Does that exist? We're all unique. Anyways, so let's see what's in store for you, beautiful Capricorn, for the beginning, the middle, and the end of the month, July two thousand and fifteen. Wow, the cards are ready to fly. This is the card that wants to come up. Okay, it is the Queen of Cups. This has to do with spirituality, and so to say, she has stepped off her throne and she's entering the waters. And I feel like this could be you. You're entering the waters of emotions and spirit and being guided either by a high priestess or becoming the high priestess. And you have the moon in the cup. And we just had that full moon in your sign. And I feel um, you're going to be feeling refreshed emotionally. And I feel like there's this beautiful woman coming into your life who has this energy, this dynamic energy of emotions, spirit, and intuition. And this is an energy that is very new for you in some acts, so to say, because you are such a business person when it comes to very grounded and practical things. Well, this is having you deep step into your emotions, step into the love, step into the joy, step into the bliss. It's really about going there and renewing yourself, so to say. We are in the opposite partner sign of you right now, the, uh, which is your opposite, but your partner sign, and that is about cancer. So there could be an energy of cancer coming to you. You could be connecting to a mother, a beloved soul. Partnership could start, but this is actually almost a man and feminine equality. So a man and feminine quality could be coming to you if you're a woman or if you prefer that sex. Um, it could also be this woman has a more masculine approach to some things in life, but she is extremely feminine in the divine energy. And the moon, so to say, is entering the cup. So the cup and the moon is full. It's like this beautiful moon is pregnant within your beautiful sign. And there's this beautiful shift. In your emotions and you're ready so to say to go deeper with this relationship or really tap into the, the vibration of sound and healing and go and see and explore that energy is this beautiful like um, Neptunian energy and Neptune is actually currently retrograde I believe so 
it's like very grounded spirituality, but it allowing the water to shift the land a little bit. That's beautiful. I love that card for you. It's so nice. It's like getting off your throne and getting into the water is getting into nature, getting into that beautiful energy and that renewal because there's a renewal that has happened for you because of the beautiful uh, full moon in your sign, whether you be a Capricorn sun, Capricorn moon, or Capricorn rising. All right. Let's get into the middle of the month. This word gets juicy, I think. All right. Capricorn, July 2015, middle of the month. It's also bringing more feminine qualities to you, or it could be bringing more masculine approach to spirituality or more feminine, just depending on what you need. There's that balancing act going on. All right, so Capricorn, middle of July, 2015. And spending time by water, like go swimming, that would be really good for you. Go swimming, drink lots of water, do a cleanse, do a chakra healing, go to a sound bath, like there's many ways to do that. Get into a salt water bath, that'd be beautiful. All right, ready. All right, nice. So the middle of the month, you have eight of wands. It's about action. So now you feel this renewal and this refreshal. And now you're ready to go into the world. Maybe take a trip or you're just really determined. And eight is the infinity number of the year. It is also the numerology year. So it's the number of the numerological equation, sorry. Um, you're ready to like go forward and move forward with this energy. And you're just like really determined. So this could be do with work, could have to do with renewing and going for your, your goals and making them happen and putting action into them. And you are a very action in order to sign when you feel very grounded and well. And so I feel there's this energy that wants to go do something in the world or your profession wants to, you want to like really achieve. So you're going to be feeling like you need more space to yourself possibly and feeling that you can achieve it. There's also, I feel like, yes, it's green grass. There's a sky, there's the air. There could be ocean like in the further part and you could be shooting, so to say these arrows towards the ocean. That sounds a little funny. Maybe you're trying to get back to the ocean. I sound really funny now. Okay, so shooting things into the world to make them happen, to make your goals be achieved. And you're going to be feeling this energy very dramatically. Yeah, it does look like an ocean. See, if I look at the screen, that looks like an ocean right here. But if I look at the card, it looks like grass. So it's really interesting, the reflections. It's a reflection of emotions and how you can make actions happen with your emotions. I want to say that is ocean, but again, I look at it, I don't see ocean. I see ocean there. So I see I see emotion in your ocean and I see emotion in your soul, but I feel you I feel like you need you're about making actions happen with work, but don't let go of the emotion and don't like drive it away. Allow this to come up to the surface and then you will reach your your goals much quicker. Does that make sense? So tapping into the emotions, just allowing it to be what it is, feeling your emotions. Because I know sometimes having Capricorn energy myself, we kind of like hide our emotions. We keep them like to ourselves and then there comes a time where it all comes out. So I feel you're, you're aiming your goals with your emotions but you're also having to balance the act of work and emotions and relationships. So focusing on your goals, but your emotions will help you and your relationships will help you in your work sector, if that makes sense, and making all those goals met. Let's pull a card for the end of the month. Okay. But yeah, emotions and action are very, very linked together. And when we feel a sense of both supports, they work really well together. So be supportive of each other. And you know, if you need help, there's always help around. Don't do it all on yourself, all on your own, because I know you like to do that. 
All right, the end of the month to, to July 2015 for Capricorn. What card would like to appear for us to give you a message of spirit? Okay, two cards came up, so I'm going to give you two cards. So, you have the chariot. There's movement happening. That's the cancer energy, actually. The chariot is cancer. And you could be moving forward, or I feel like there's a choice here. So either this happens, or the end of the month is, so to say, the devil. Like, you're being haunted by something in terms of, like, emotional fulfillment or how you see your life, or how you see your relationships. So I feel it's about being softer and going forward with this um, energy. These are very soft cards when you touch them. So being soft with the forward motion because you are ready to make things happen. But I feel this could have to do with past addictions or something that's haunting you from your past, and that didn't serve you in your relationships. But Balancing out that energy, maybe the sexual energy, and being more loving to yourself and others, but it's really a shadow. There's a shadow aspect that's upside down right now and having you look at something or someone else in a shadow way. And if you transform and move forward with a positive energy and so to say the other person in a balanced light, this beauty of energy, of dual energies, and of, so to say, committed in one union, but also allowing the yin and the yang to be balanced. If you balance it within yourself and you can balance that in your relationship and with others, with spirit, with work, with spirituality, with work, with relationships and emotions, everything, then I feel you're going to move forward much more easily. If you focus on the stuff that may be feeling, making you feel stuck, you it could be a possibility that you return because this is upside down. You return to something that may have not served you in the past, not to say going back, but it's like a review of something that is making you look at a shadow that wasn't so pretty. So don't worry because you don't need to be stuck in this energy. It's really about if you can make it flow, there's some beautiful cards here. So flowing with the emotions, going with the actions, and then having the emotions, because this is the Cancer card, having the emotions flow with your actions. If you can do that and balance it out with another and yourself, and so to say, make this union full and whole for you and the other person, so to say, balancing out giving and receiving, and making it happen, so to say, in a space that that serves all and involved, I feel you'll be moving forward much easier and you'll feel more on top of the world. You don't need to go into those dark, creepy areas that might make you feel unstable. So be gentle with yourself this month, beautiful Capricorn. I'm sending you love and light. And I think this is a really good card to get because there's a new moon in Cancer. And this is really about the actions happening. And it's also aiming for the emotional fulfillment and having both needs being met at the same time and feeling filling your cup up with divine love and nurturing and caring energy for yourself and for others i'm sending you a lot of love and light and i will see you very very soon please do go check out my website my like page and subscribe for more videos to come and the awesome video for the live hangout will be very soon i love you guys very much and i will see you on the new moon call. Mwah. Love and light, divine one. Be a union of divine love and yourself.